Hello coaches, welcome back to another Modern Soccer Coach Tactical Breakdown. Today we're going to talk about pre-season. So a lot of coaches are getting ready to plan their sessions, put their periodization models together. All that great stuff, it's an exciting time of the year. Pre-season training, obviously very, very important. What we want to do is get the fitness levels up. However, the best way to build football fitness is to actually play football at a high intensity and make it as enjoyable as possible for the players. If you enjoy these exercises, I've put together three more of them for free on the website. So if you enjoy them and you want to get the details and you want to get three more, there's a free PDF on the link below at the Modern Soccer Coach website. Six football fitness exercises perfect for preseason. If you enjoy it, please give it a like and a subscribe below. All right, preseason training, let's go. Okay, as always, before we start, we want to be really clear in our objectives when we're planning training sessions. So for me, the key objectives with pre-season training is one, make the exercises realistic to the type of game you want to play. Not necessarily systems and tactics, but if it's high pressing, if it's possession based, if it's overloads and you want to get players in those combination areas, attacking numbers forward, whatever it is include that have that at the base of your planning the second part is make it competitive the majority of players love competing it's a great way to drive energy the third part is to control the times for two reasons one is because it's a great way to drive intensity short and sharp exercises times but second of all it's a good way to manage the periodization model as well and to progress it as you go on and then the last part i think which is really important is to make it enjoyable, manage that energy throughout pre-season, have players looking forward to the sessions, try and make these sessions enjoyable, try and make them high intensity, try and make them energetic, try and make them competitive, and players will commit that a little bit more, and you'll get that a little bit more out of the session. Okay, three exercises, here we go. Again, if you want the breakdown for them, you can get them on the link below. Here we go. Okay, so the first exercise are really, really enjoyable. One of my favorite ones to start a training session here, 4v4 plus 4 over the halfway line, 18 players, 2 teams of 8 plus a goalkeeper on each team. Both teams start with 4 players on the inside and 4 players positioned around the perimeter. You play 4v4 and you can use your teammates on the outside in the higher positions. Fast paced game, you get 1 point for a shot on target, you get 2 points for a goal, 3 points for a, if a goal is assisted from a teammate on the perimeter who is only limited to one touch, so it moves quickly, quick combination plays. But in order for a goal to count, all four outfield players on the inside must be over the halfway line. So they've got to get up quickly and support, which will drive the tempo, increase the physical demands, and have a little technical challenge in there too for the players. Okay, the next one is another favourite, 7v7, the field is split into three zones, the goals are facing away from each other, so teams play 8v8, they're attacking one goal, defending another goal, there's no restrictions to movement, but the only condition is that in order for a team to score, they must have at least three players in the attacking zone of the goal that they're shooting at. You put a five pass maximum in the central zone so that zone doesn't become a possession zone. Teams are very, very vertical with their possession. Teams are looking forward, which then means that they've got to go up and support in order to score goals. And then if they lose the ball, they've got to try and transition as well. Again, a really enjoyable game, competitive game, and matches the physical demands that they're going to get in a match. Okay, our last exercise is a transitional one and coaches, if you enjoy these and you want three more football fitness exercises, please, on the link below, on the website, PDF for free. You can get your copy now. This one is a 1v1 that goes into a 2v1 that goes into a 2v2. So 14 players organized into two teams, players positioned around the grid, as you can see. First ball is played by a red player into the blue player who plays 1v1, has got 10 seconds to score. As soon as that ball is finished, the red player at the other cone then dribbles forward, creates a 2v1. Again, there's a shot clock of 10 seconds. And after that attack, the second blue player comes out. Again, 10 seconds, 2v2 situation. After the completion of that set, four new players in the same spots come in, play 12 minutes, keep the score running. Again, it's competitive and it puts those players in those overloads and in those attack versus defense situations. Really fun game. So they have a coach's 
three examples of football fitness exercises. Again, if you enjoy them and you want some more ideas or you want the details of these exercises, just go on the link below for free and you can download the PDF. When you're there, you can also check out some high intensity pressing exercises, some scanning exercises, all on the Modern Soccer Coach shop. I think it's really important that when you're planning your pre-season that you get those sessions that allow players again to compete, to play at a high intensity, to recover quickly and to enjoy the game. And players typically enjoy the game by attacking, by defending, by playing the game rather than isolated fitness exercises. Yes, if you have access to the players full time and you have an SNC department, yes, by all means, isolated running is perfectly fine. But if you've only got them two, three days a week and you've got limited time with your players and maybe you don't have that SNC coach, then exercises like this can really help get your players in a good spot and also keep energy high and enjoyment levels high. Hope you enjoy that. Before you go, if you did, please give it a like and a subscribe. Thank you so much for the support. I will see you next week. Goodbye.